first of all, I will tell you that nostalgia is the word that I least like. This is not nostalgia. I am not pining for some other moment um, in time. This is really a way of seeing what happened and being in these places um, and, and making an image that I can bring back and say, here, look at this. Photography, I've had a camera in my hand my whole life. It is my language. I can't do this. Somebody else might be able to do this in painting or in video. I can't. This is, this is the language that I speak. My work is all about an investigation and an inquiry into the experience of performance, theater, spectacle, music, and how that would manifest on a two-dimensional static surface. I have uh, turned my focus on to the idea of music and sound, and I'm trying to photograph sound, basically, by photographing the memory and the history of American music. I think when the viewer looks at the work, when there's more than one image hanging on a wall, my hope and the, the point of this work is that they remember their experiences of live music. They remember where they were when X was playing, and they begin to hear the music in their memories, in their heads. And so I photographed sound. So it is personal to the individual viewer, but it's collective to all the viewers. Um, and I kind of like that. So all of my work is done on site, whether it's a specific performance or it's a space. Um, the challenges start from the most obvious, which is financial, to the most interesting, which is research, uh, finding the venues that illustrate my idea the best. Uh, in the case of this music project, finding all of the historic, iconic, uh, mythic venues of rock and roll left standing in the United States. People have noted that I shoot in film, which I am completely sworn to. Um, and it, it allows me to make the best photograph that I can make. So it allows me to speak my language as, as well as I can. This project, or where I've been to get here, it's all film. And it, it's, all, it's all static. It's all two-dimensional flat surfaces. And if the viewer can crawl into the image, then 